Hi, and welcome to this video on the common whipping. And as you may see here, I have a rope that is fraying quite a lot. And the whipping is basically you tie another smaller rope around this so that it stops fraying. This is really a plastic rope, so I could just melt it as is done in, in this other end, but that wouldn't make a video, would it? So, I'm going to demonstrate just on the, the big here with the one I'm going to do with. The common whipping is basically a way to to tie a knot around the other rope and locking the knot so that it can't be undone very easily. So what you do is you start with a loop like this. I can have like that. And then you just start making turns around backwards. I'll do this loosely now because I will try to untie this. And you continue for a lot of laps or a lot of turns. Then you pull this through this loop. And then you pull this into so are oh, you maybe let's see. Pull this in here. Pull this in here. So that this part where they uh, the loops go into and it gets pulled other under this whipping. And then you cut off these ends so that it locks underneath and, and holds in place by the tension. So I will do it. Now I'll do the real whipping, but this time you might not be able to see that well because it's such a small rope. So I'll start with some other smaller piece of rope. I'll use this one. About maybe an arm's length. It's better to have too much than too little. I'll start with this loop stuff, loop thingy, here. And then I'll take this part. Maybe maybe like that. And then I just start making turns like this. Uh, maybe we should pull a little bit here. Yeah. And I'll just start making turns. And the tighter you make them, the better the uh, whipping will hold in the end. But you also get a harder way, or it gets harder to, to complete the whipping if you pull it really tight here. There are some whippings, and the more advanced ones, you actually need a needle, and you make them more sturdy because you sew through the rope you're whipping. But this common whipping is adequate for for most applications, really. And also, you get instead of burning rope with the whipping, you get a nicer looking finish, in my opinion. So now I've done enough enough in my opinion. As you can see, I could have started further out, but I won't do that. Let's take this through through here. It's hard with English sometimes. And then I take this, and now, as you can see, it kind of disappeared in here. So I'll tighten this a little bit. And then, of course, you want to make this so that it goes kind of halfway through so that you might not be able to see it. But now I can see that it, it budges here, just in the middle. And that's when I know that this is this is the right spot. So I'm just going to pull on these two ends to see if I can... No, it broke. But that's fine, we were going to cut down away. So now we just cut the other part. It's a crap rope. Okay, and then we niceify this end a little bit. So we'll cut this here. And of course you can burn it as well if you want. So this, this is a common whipping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video here at Knots and Ropes.